Hey guys, David here from Groove Digital. I just wanted to shoot a quick video explaining uh, a question from one of our customers here on askgroove.net. This is the place where you can request uh, tutorial and training videos. So Mark had a question on how to adjust the width of the margins. Uh, basically, he has a page here and he wants, I, in my opinion, I think he wants to make this a bit narrower. He even says how to make the width of the content as narrow as you wish. So this is what I will be showing you in this video. So once you have some elements on the page, for example, this text or, or this one, and you want to make it wide or you want to make it narrow, there's a couple of ways of doing that. So the the best way, in my opinion, to move everything at the same time is to choose the container. Container is this green part that holds all your elements. So the buttons, the, the text, the headline and everything together. And then you work on the sizing of that one. As you can see, the width is set up to be maximum of extra large. Once you set up to be two times extra large, you can see that this now moved in. So basically it uh, went a bit wider. So let's just move it to three times extra large. You can see now it is much wider than it was before. So if you want to use everything in inside the container and make it a bit more narrow, you can do it using this one. You see, once you change it, it makes things narrow. But let's just put this back to large as it was. The other way to do it uh, is in case you just choose the text element itself. Let's say we want to make the text to be as narrow as these buttons over here. Okay, let's just test it out. How, how could we make it happen? So once we clicked on the text element over here, we can see that it is text. We click on the sizing. And we want to change the width to be, let's say, medium or we want small. This is kind of good, but in case you really want to go in and then modify it, I would suggest you to use pixels. Pixels will allow you to really make sure that that you have the, the width and the height as big as you want it. So for example, this would be matching our buttons over here but in my opinion this looks very bad so let's just try to keep it in the same height or the same width of this headline here so i would increase it here one a bit more and this would be probably matching this headline here so you see guys this is the way that uh you can manage the items manage the elements on your page to increase the width and then as well the same thing for the height um, it is pretty easy. You can choose the, the element on the page itself or you can choose the container that holds the, all the elements and then you do all at once. So that's it guys. I hope you answered. Uh, I hope I answered the question of Mark here. I hope he will be happy with, the, with this explanation. In case you have any more questions, just please head over to askgroove.net and then you can request your video trainings and tutorials there for me to do. So that's it guys and then see you in the group. Bye bye.